Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Michigan playing host to one of the most talented cornerbacks left in the transfer portal, UMass cornerback Josh Wallace, taking a two-day visit to Ann Arbor. And we've talked about this a lot. Michigan and Jim Harbaugh have been extremely active in the transfer portal, and I think there's an element of this is the year in 2023 when you look across the college college football landscape nationally. like We are past just trying to win the Big Ten. Georgia replacing a quarterback in a lot of production. Alabama replacing a quarterback in a lot of production. Ohio State, the same thing. This does seem to be Michigan's year. And if there is one missing piece for this Michigan football program heading into 2023 in terms of a national title contending team, it might be that cornerback spot opposite of Will Johnson. Going to talk a little bit about what Josh Wallace could mean to this Michigan program. Now, before we do, again, just want to say, Thank you to you guys, especially the Michigan fans. If you guys have been rocking with us for a while, you know there is nothing more we enjoy more than talking Michigan football. So if you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. It's going to be a busy official visit month as well. So if you do like to recruit and updates, lock in, subscribe to the channel. We can't thank you guys enough for all the support you guys have shown. Dill, without further ado, Josh Wallace, a two-day visit in Ann Arbor. How are we feeling? Well, that's what we've been saying. Like the they started out hot in that transfer class, like early in, in December and, and and whatnot. And they got the guys we thought they needed, got the edge rusher, restocked the offensive line, especially at the tackle spots and center. And then and then obviously with Ernest Hausman coming in to play running made to Junior Colson. So like they kind of loaded up on the spots that maybe were a little weak or, or were gonna experience a lot of turnover. The only spot we we've been saying yeah. we thought they missed was that wideout spot, or at least that's what I've thought. Oh, that's that was the missing piece, if you will, to the class. And I, I think Josh Wallace is, is it's a perfect fit from both both standpoints, right? Michigan is, and I we went after Davis and Igbenosin, the the true freshman All American from Ole Miss, and I think that made a lot of sense. I'm not going to say I didn't want him, but Josh Wallace almost makes a little bit more sense as a veteran dude who's going to come in and just kind of play a veteran presence in that cornerback room because it's not like we don't have talent. Even true freshman Jair Hill, McBurrows, Amarian Walker. Like, I feel good about what those guys can be. But in terms of winning a national title, having a complete roster and depth chart, heading into 2023, I want a veteran dude that has played a lot of football. And you go take a look at what Josh Wallace has done at UMass, and I get a little bit lower level of a competition. But this is a dude who's had started since his freshman year in 2019. The last two years, he's had almost 20 passes defended over the last two years. He's a guy that represents talent, but also experience at that cornerback spot. And that is exactly what we needed. And that's what's worked for Michigan, frankly, in, in their portal doings. Like you got to bring a guy like Olu in last year. Just that that experienced season guy come in for the one year. It doesn't disrupt the culture in the locker room. It doesn't make a Jair Hill feel like he's – trying to be yeah. replaced or he's not good enough or, or or push him out the door but it again it, it gives them like when you lose two guys of gaman green and, and dj turner's ilk like you're losing a lot of production a lot of guys who have taken a lot of snaps for the past two or three years it, 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 it's just the perfect situation i feel like he should be here i feel like the don brown connection makes me think yeah that might be just a little bit of like deep digging, sleuthing, whatever you want to say, but it's all lining up for us, I think. Yeah, and I, I again, I, I think it makes perfect sense. Even if he doesn't start, like if Josh Wallace comes in and doesn't start and he gets beat out by a guy like Amarion Walker, Jaden McBurrows, I still think bringing him in makes a lot of sense in terms of, like, if Amarion Walker can go out and beat a guy who has been Independence Conference uh, uh, first-team guy, like then it's like, okay, more power to Amarion Walker, I think is going to be good. You saw in the spring game, he might not be ready yet. And I don't think this team can afford to have just a, a I'm not saying he's going to be a liability, but this Michigan team in 2023 can be so special. And I mean, you have when you get back all those guys, like, and they did the campaign, Cornelius Johnson, yeah. Corum, Zinner, and Keegan, it's like all the guys who you wanted to see back and were right there, fringe NFL. In Blake Corum's case, he's obviously not a fringe NFL guy. Or honestly, all three, all four oh, of them. Are yeah, and probably Keegan and Zinner might be like third, second, or third rounders. So I, it's just all lined up. It, Josh Wallace again, he fits exactly what Michigan needs. Just a guy who you can depend on. He doesn't need to be the star because that's Will Johnson. He's not overtaking that role. 
but you're getting a guy who, you, yeah, again, what you said won't be and an I'll, issue in those big games. I want to go back to like Michigan's strategy in the transfer portal being to take more of the graduate transfer guys, to take guys who don't have like three, four years of eligibility left, more of guys who have done it for a long time at their previous schools. You bring them in for kind of one or two more years to be that guy because you see a program like Ole Miss that just – it's pretty much cycling their roster out every single year in the transfer portal. When you bring in young guys and not just grad transfers, not just kind of veteran guys to fill in your roster, what happens is you squeeze out a lot of that young talent. And you noted the best, a guy like Jair Hill or Jaden McBurrows or Martin Walker, who if you were to bring in a guy like Davis and Ignosin, who has two, three, four years of eligibility left, that might kind of squeeze out some of that talent. Jaden McBurrows says, hey, I don't know. I don't see myself starting for this program. I'm, I might leave. We talk about it a lot with Michigan in the transfer portal. They've done a phenomenal job, not only bringing quality players in, but even a better job retaining a lot of that young talent that you look at programs like Ole Miss probably would leave it and find another spot. And so I like what Jim Harbaugh has been doing with taking the guys outside of Ernest Hosman, who, who's a young cat who just you can't really pass up on if you have the opportunity to bring him in, but bringing in guys that aren't necessarily going to squeeze out that young talent uh, in your roster, and I think that's how you get to 2023 and you look at this Michigan team and say it's deep, it's complete, and it's a team poised to win in 2023. Yeah, I mean, it's going to have the premier culture in college football, at least it seems like. That's I mean, what it seems like. Sandra still, Corum, the, all the offensive linemen, the coaching, I, like everything's there. J.J. McCarthy kind of ascending into that leadership role after the QB battle from last year. It's just – Again, it, it, it's lining up. If you're – all right, like, man, we've been I, I want to ask you one more thing. Sorry to cut you off there. If Michigan has to add one more position in, in the transfer portal, where are we going if it's not Josh Wallace in that cornerback room? There is no more tra- – this is it. Like, if they don't get Josh Wallace, there is nobody left. I, I don't get this idea that Michigan doesn't have good enough wide receiver play. Cornelius Johnson is – That's where I was man. going. Like, we're, we're – he won us that Ohio State game in, in 22. Uh, like, if it, he'll always be a legend in my book. I don't want to see him get replaced as a wideout one. He's the guy, go with him. And, and that's that's pretty much it for me. I'm interested in what the, the Michigan fans have to say. So, if you guys have like your take in the comment section, let us know because my brother and I have been arguing about this for at least months now in terms of I think they could add one more veteran guy in the wide receiver room. You look at the guys that are coming back, Cornelius Johnson and you act like I'm I'm attacking Cornelius Johnson. I love Cornelius Johnson. He's been phenomenal. Roman Wilson's another guy that has hit the explosive plays when we need them to be made. Outside of that, though, the, the returning production at that wide receiver group is just – it's non-existing, right? Darius Clemens, Tyler Morris, Christian Dixon, even Peyton O'Leary, guys who haven't really produced at the Big Ten level yet. I don't hate adding one more wide receiver because it does seem like Michigan – might be trying to hit some more. Got to get him on the field at some point. It's like, what are you just going to keep adding and adding if, if you're like a junior because yeah. you, you haven't played in the games yet? It's like, I don't know, they're true freshmen. And that that might be it. Going, going back to what Jim's done with the transfer portal is we're not, we're not trying to squeeze out a guy like Tyler Morris or Darius Clemens. Like, they're high on those guys. They just have to get on the field and, and let them develop. And maybe there's an element of Jim and, and what this offensive coaching staff has seen is, hey, we like these guys. And that – that's kind of – when you look at who the coaches and, and the coaching staff pursues in the transfer report, I think it tells you a lot about how the roster looks. And so them bringing in Josh Wallace, probably telling you that they kind of want another experienced body in that cornerback room. Them not really going after any other wide receivers in the transfer report, probably telling you, hey, Cornelius Johnson, Roman Wilson, we like what we have there, but what we like even more is having a guy like Darius Clemens or Tyler Moore is kind of waiting in the wings to, to get it going for Michigan. So – yeah, that, that makes sense. I think Josh Wallace would be a massive addition. So if this commitment does happen this weekend, which you're hearing some rumblings, it might. Uh, we'll be we'll be back on talking about it. But, again, appreciate the support you guys have shown. Again, if you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll talk to you all later. Peace.